we filed a lawsuit against the city of De Pairs and the police officers, the specific police officers involved in brutalizing Mrs. Marvia Gray and Derek Gray. Without any cause or provocation, and as caught on the video, the officers shoved and beat both Mrs. Gray and Derek Gray inside a Sam's Club on March 23rd. We're fortunate that there was an individual, two individuals at the store that had the presence of mind to capture video of the incident. And we all know how important video is. At this stage, we filed the lawsuit. The family is seeking an independent investigation. You know, it's tragic when you think about our history, whether it's Michael Brown in Ferguson or it's Ahmaud Arbery in Brunswick, Georgia. We are demanding accountability. We are demanding justice. And that's why Mrs. Gray has filed this lawsuit this morning against the city of De Pere and the specific officers that unjustifiably brutalized her on March 23rd. call today is because we represent Ms. Marvia Gray as well as her son Derek Gray and earlier this morning the Gray family around 8 30 this morning our co-counsel William Daly we filed a lawsuit against the city of De Pairs and the police officers the specific police officers involved in brutalizing Mrs. Marvia Gray and Derek Gray towards law enforcement to keep the peace. Keep the peace. If you don't remember anything else that I say here today, I want you to remember this. Until the lion begins to write history, the hunter will always be the hero. It's about perspective. And in the coming weeks, we're gonna hear Marvia Gray's perspective in terms of what happened that day. You'll learn that she lives in West County. And this is not to suggest that a person who lives in West County is more entitled to justice than the person who lives in North County or North City or South County or any other part of St. Louis. It's just to give you perspective, to let you know that she's a resident of this community and she's been shopping in this establishment for 10 years. She's at a place where she's supposed to be, where she's frequented many times. And then we want you to look at what happened from her eyes, from her point of view. And with that, uh, Mrs. Gray, I know this is traumatic for you to talk about but we have several members of the media on this call and we just want you to share a little bit about what your experience was on that day on March 23rd. Okay, on March 23rd, we was returning a TV. Derek and myself. Okay, on returning the TV, I'm explaining to the manager what uh, my situation is uh, coming to the store for so many years and all of this. And that's the only thing I was saying. When, and to my uh, surprise, here come about three or four or five cops coming and just throwing me to the floor. You know, it just took took me by my purse and just slammed me to the floor like I was some kind of 
nothing. And then I'm like, watch it, watch it. You guys, y'all hurting me. What did you doing? What is going on? You know, like that. Okay, I'm slammed to the floor. Then I'm looking, at, uh, I look again, my son being beaten. My son being beaten up too. I'm like, what you guys doing to him? Why you guys beating on him like that? To my surprise, we winded up in the same position, Derek and I. So then I'm looking up and I'm like, oh my God. I'm, I'm looking at these police just beating them and kicking them and all of this. I said, they gonna kill him. I said, they gonna kill him. I could see my son die before my eyes. I said, I knew it was happening. So I turned to the right and I said, I said this, to this young man with some dreadlocks, I said, call channel two, call channel two. He said, I got your back. I got your back like that. And it, but, well, you, didn't, you couldn't hear him, but I know that's what he was singing. So I turned back around and I just gave up. I said, well, you know what, God? I said, this is the way Derek is gonna go. I said, I know I'm gonna leave here one day, but they're gonna kill him. I said, they're gonna kill my child. They was beating that kid so bad. So by that time, I don't know what happened. I got up and uh, for some reason, I uh, was so helpless. I walked toward this uh, this one uh, guy and I was asking him, help me, help me. He said, get out of my way like I was a dog. And then, they, 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 uh, then I said, please don't handcuff me. I said, don't have the handcuff on me so tight. I said, I got all kind of illness. I said, I have rheumatoid arthritis. I have sarcoidosis. I have, uh, I have it all. I said, you guys, stop it. Oh, no. They was constantly beating my child. I go outside and I'm looking at rivers and rivers of cops coming into that place. And I just knew, I said, well, then this is the way they, I said, they're gonna die. I kept on saying, I just, oh my God, just to imagine my child that I done raised, the only child I got. Thanks. No, thanks, Miss Gray. And you, and you trying to kill him? I don't have no faith in the police no more. And I, no. And then Derek, and Derek looked at me, he said, and, and, and I can't forget this look. He said, he was so quiet. He said, Mom, they are hurting me, Mom. They are hurting me. So. I don't have no faith in the police no more. No. I don't have any faith in the police. They tried to take my only child. They literally have destroyed him. And I, and I really, I, Thank you. Thanks, Ms. Gray. We, 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 we can only understand, try to understand what you've gone through and what Derek has gone through. Um, for the media's perspective, we've detailed in the complaint what happened as well as the significant nature of the injuries to both Mrs. Gray uh, and, and Derek. The, um, Next, I'd like to hear from uh, John Bowman as a civil rights leader in St. Louis County. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Far too often in the St. Louis region, there is unwarranted and excessive and often illegal use of force by police officers against civilians. These instances are usually involving people of color. Police brutality is defined as the excessive and unnecessary use of force by a police officer when interacting with a civilian, resulting in a civil rights violation. In St. Louis and in the United States, when a black person interacts with a white police officer, the immediate concern is, will he be treated with respect or will they be allowed to make it home safely or will they be harassed, beaten, and killed because of the color of our skin? Unfortunately, this behavior continues in the form of intimidation. In St. Louis neighborhoods, which is heavy with white populations. In the case of Ms. Marvia Gray, the officers of the Pair Police Department used excessive force, bullying, bullying her, intimidating her, and harassing her as she is a law-abiding citizen 
and they have violated her civil rights. We are facing a severe challenge in our, in our country right now as human beings and in St. Louis County. Now we understand that racism was created to justify slavery. We are not going to tolerate it any longer. We are demanding better. We will not tolerate Jim Crow policing, Jim Crow style attacks. NAACP St. Louis County stands firmly with the Gray family. And we are standing alongside Ms. Marvia Gray and her son. We are going to stand by, we are not going to stand by quietly while innocent people are of color, innocent people of color are being racially profiled, intimidated, harassed, beaten, and killed. There needs to be, no, there will be justice here. Thank you. So we know that in all these jurisdictions across the country, everyone's dealing with the COVID pandemic. But as Mr. Bowman referenced, we have another pandemic in the black community and that's the unjustified use of force against black and brown individuals across the country. 